Hey, what's up, everybody? This is yours truly. My name is Salem Sunni. I am of the Amazing Loves Movement. It is a pleasure to have you guys watch some of my videos that we've been doing. Uh, our goal is to adequately look at the Word of God and have a Christian point of view while engaging our culture. Browsing throughout some of the social media, uh, I came up on an article written by Brittany Moses. Brittany Moses is actually the founder and one of the leader of the Unashamed Impact Movement. It's a great movement. I, I've um, I've actually saw a couple of things that they do and I was really impressed by their biblical foundation, some of their doctrines and, and the way they're really activating and motivating a lot of young people throughout the nation and even overseas. So I was really, really impressed. So check them out on Ishim Impact. There might be a link in the description. Definitely check them out. She wrote an article or, or that was entitled 10 things that young Christians should know. I really agree with a lot of things she, she spoke on. One of the first points she said was that being a Christian, following Christ is not a popular thing. Um, looking at social media today, I mean, let's face it, it's not going to be popular to say that you're a Christian and that you actually live a life according to what God has asked us to do. Um, it, it, it may be popular to claim Christianity, but to actually live it out, mm, not so much. Uh, you can look, I, I bet you right now you flip your TV. In few seconds, you will be <laughs> already portrayed image of sex, drugs, alcohol, because that's what the world described. That's what many people put on as being uh, the life. Uh, that's how you got to live. That's what you got to do. And many of those things contradict what the gospel tells us where we ought to live like. So the truth of the matter is, it's not really popular to say that you're like Christ. But I have to be honest with you, it is the most rewarding and life-changing experience that you're gonna ever have to live a life that is truly happy where you don't have to depend upon uh, emptiness of kind of like this almost drug where you always gotta go get your hype with your friends go get your hype with your dr drugs sex or drinking or it's always temporary where you always gotta get hooked the devil is tricky and he knows that he, he wants to get whatever your flesh longs for whatever your body is always calling after. So whenever Christ asks us to put down our flesh and pick up the cross, it seems like, whoa, man, that doesn't look like the, that's the thing to do. I don't think a lot of people are doing that. So one of the first point is that at the end of the day, following Christ is not necessarily the most popular thing to do, but it's the right thing to do because it changes your life. Of any other religion in the world, Christianity is the only religion in which our Savior actually came to us to save us. Uh, many religion teaches us that we have to work ourselves, to work uh, to our perfection to reach some form of maker. But the gospel, the good news of the Bible is that Christ knew that we could not overcome our sin by ourselves. So he came down to save us. 